What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over a way that was found that you can duplicate weapons, bows, and shields in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> On Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom 1.1, there was an exploit slash glitch found that allows you to duplicate weapons that you have in your inventory, and they're just going to appear on the ground a second instance of the exact same weapon. It's going to remember all of the information in regard to the durability, what the weapon was, what modifiers it has, it's an exact one-to-one -one replica of the exact same weapon. If this is patched in a future version, this video is going to have the word patched in the title, and then it will no longer be active. And if there's any updates, I'll probably have a pin in the corner. Great, let's get on with it. Yesterday I made a video about making one of the most powerful swords in the game that you could possibly have, which is power 194. I just made another one. And if you saw my video yesterday on how to duplicate items, it's very, very similar. There's no risk on doing this wrong or too slow or anything else. From our inventory screen, we're gonna hit the save button. Without leaving the save screen, we are going to drop this, equip another weapon, pause, pause, or B plus, whatever you want to do for that. We're going to drop that one, and then we're going to load from our hard save. And just like that, we have another rare stone talus sledge right behind us. I don't know why you're going to need all of these various weapons. I mean, once you have something that's great, like if I wanted to take my silver lino blade and then give it back to one of the Octoroks and then have him make it at perfect durability again and then just go around one-shotting things, cool. But honestly, like I use my weapons for so much utility more than I do for actual combat while exploring in this game. I don't know about you. When it comes to bows, if I want to take my five shot 32 Savage Lionel bow that I was so happy to get, honestly, I could see a lot of potential on duping different bows. So let's go ahead and try it with a bow. I have this bow right here. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Just a heads up. After you equip the weapon, you then need to leave back to like the main world, exit the menu, and then go back into the menu and save. This is what past Austin did wrong here. I'm letting you know, don't do this. Everything else is good, but not this one. Let's put down a save. Let's go ahead, drop it, equip this one, pause, pause. Drop this bow, equip this one, pause, pause. Drop this one, load the game. And there we go. Five shot Savage Lionel bow. I think I might have duplicated the wrong weapon. So I equipped it, I left the save menu, I went back to save. I think that might have been the problem. Now we're gonna drop it, equip this one, pause, pause, drop this one, and now load the save. Now I still have my five shot equipped, and on the ground is another five shot. Five shot, 32 damage. That's pretty much as good as a bow can get in this game, or so far as we believe. Wait a second, so I put I put a cart on my shield, that way, you know, I can just skateboard everywhere. Does that mean that now I'm gonna have just multiple Hylian shield carts, make a sled cart as well because of the insane durability on them? I'm gonna try this out. So I have it equipped, I'm gonna save the game. We're gonna drop the Hylian shield and we're gonna equip another one. Pause, pause. Now we're gonna drop that one. I'm going to load from our save. Once we come back in, there is a brand new Hylian shield cart. Okay. Yeah, I think it's mostly because I use my weapons as more utility than weapons. Then, you know, I, I have more reason for them. But this is... Can I do all three at the same time? Okay, let's, let's be fun and reckless here. Okay, I got it to work. <laughs> I only got two of them, though. Which is real weird. Hi, it's me, Editing Austin again. Just to let you know, he does get the bow. He's just gonna find it later, and it's in bad context, so I'm just gonna show you, hey look, there it is on the, on the ground. Yeah, cool, awesome. So I have the three things I wanna duplicate, right? I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. So without leaving the save menu, we drop a sword, drop the shield, drop the bow that we all had equipped, right? Then we're gonna equip a new one, equip a new one, Equip a new one. Pause, pause. Now we're going to drop the currently equipped ones. And now we're going to load our save. Yep. There we go. The stuff that's on our back, on the floor. The bow isn't showing up for me. Okay, it didn't work with the bow, but it worked with two out of the three. 
Hi, yeah, me, last time, promise. Uh, the bow did work, he's gonna find it later. Again, so, it's there, great. And I didn't lose anything in the process, so this is definitely interesting. I see major uses for being able to duplicate the shield so you can have different Zonai devices attached to them. Also, like, having one as a sapphire shield and then one as a ruby shield for hot and cold environments, right? I get all that. Arrows, obviously, once you get a five shot, that's the, pretty much the only weapon that you want. So, yes, it makes sense to duplicate that. Also, probably one non-metal bow. I guess if you wanted to, you could put diamonds on them and then pay the 20 rupees to take the diamonds off. But I feel like you're just better off if you wanted to duplicate diamonds, you would just do the method that I covered yesterday, which is you take a diamond, which now I have 11, you drop, equip, pause, pause, drop that one, pick them both up. Oh, look, it's the Savage Lionel bow from before. <laughs> Told ya. Remember how I thought only two of them worked? Turns out all three worked. And now I have 11 diamonds, cause math. Yeah, if you're going for a single attached item, that's probably faster and that's definitely more money than if you wanted to duplicate and then remove them at the separate shop. You got options. Oh man, the way speedrunners are finding things out about this game is just intense. It really is. Well guys, if there's any usefulness that you see of these very specific things other than utility shields and other stuff, I guess, maybe like, you know, have one reserve of a weapon that you really like and then one that you actively use and then when the used one is completely diminished instead of going and restoring it, you just duplicate the old one. Whatever use you could possibly have, let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.